Hey guys, what's up? Brian here. Today we're going to unbox and play test the Arturia Audio Fuse. Now this is a brand new audio interface that just came out this year. So I'm excited to see what's inside and test it out with my sax. Here we go. So here's the box. This is the Arturia Audio Fuse. It's an advanced audio interface. A little background about the company Arturia. They're a French company. They've been around for 20 years and they make uh, keyboard controllers, uh, software like synth software, things like that. So I believe this is their first take at a audio interface. So I'm really excited to check this thing out. So let's open the box and see what we have inside. This looks like the unit. And this is the top of it, the cover. So we take that off. It's a nice uh, felt material. It's metal. It's kind of like a like a leather type material here. It's pretty nice. So I'll put that there. And here's the unit. I'll get into that after we check out what else is in here. Here's some padding. And here's the instruction manual. This looks like some cables. These look like power adapters. There's a power supply that I'll take a look at right now, but these are outlet adapters for, I guess you can use this thing anywhere in the world. So that's pretty cool. This looks like the DC power supply. Here are, these are the MIDI breakout cables. So if you have a MIDI keyboard or something like that, you just plug these cables into this, the unit and then you have MIDI capabilities. And last but not least, this is the USB cable. USB 2.0 uh, works, you know, in 3.0, obviously. So here we go. That's the box. You have this stuff that keeps everything in tip-top shape. So I'll put this to the side. Now let's take a look at the audio fuse. Let's just look at all the inputs and outputs that we have here on the side. The bottom is pretty nice. It's like a soft rubber material so it won't slide around when you throw it on your, your table. So here's the first input, second input, uh, XLR or a quarter inch like if you have a, a guitar or a bass or something like that. And this has two onboard uh, preamps, studio quality, uh, top of the line, uh, especially in something so compact, that's, that's really nice. Then you have two independent uh, headphone outputs, and each one has an a, a eighth inch and a quarter inch. So you don't have to worry about finding an adapter or something uh, if your headphones, uh, for your headphones anymore, can work in either one. So let's see what's on the back. Yeah, there's nothing on the sides. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here. So I'll do my best to get through this. So on the top left, that's the uh, MIDI, the MIDI hookup for these. So you have MIDI input and output. And then we have SPDIF and ADAT, which can pretty much uh, give you more inputs and outputs. This has four inputs um, on board and you can, I think, add eight more. So digital outputs. Um, the insert is where you can put like a compressor, equalizer in your recording chain and go directly uh, through there. And you can by bypass all the uh, preamps and go directly to the, the digital converters to go into your computer. You have a USB three USB uh, ports here. So it acts as a USB 
hub when you plug the DC power in there. And then that's the USB hook up to your computer, um, a micro USB. And the phono is where you can plug in like a turntable or something like that into this unit. And you have four speaker, well, two speaker outputs, left and right, two left and right channels. So you can hook up two different sets of monitors so you can do some A-B testing for your mix, which is uh, really cool, really good to have. And then these are the uh, line inputs for uh, three and four. And one and two, again, are right here. So I want to plug this in because I know it lights up. And it's hard to read this right here. So let me try to plug this in right now. I'm going to take the USB cable. Let's see. So it plugs in right here. my computer right here there we go now this also it pretty much runs plug-and-play you don't need any software or any or anything like that but there is software which you can use on your computer which pretty much duplicates what's going on all on board what makes this unit so so great I think what I was reading about before I even got this is there's so many buttons here. It can really like make your uh, workflow that much quicker when you don't have to rely on staring at a computer um, to adjust all these different knobs. You have it right here on the unit. So let me start up here. This is the phantom power for your mic. And this is phase invert. So if you're if you're recording like more than one microphone and there could be some phase issues, you press that uh, pad. This um, this will either with one one press it will increase your the um, input, and then if you're running hot, you hit it again, and then it will dec decrease it. And this is the instrument input. Here's the gain knob for the uh, preamp. So everything is duplicated here for the second second input. And then up here, this area here, this dial is for the output level. So that's what your uh, monitors, this is what's feeding your monitors. You have Q1, Q2. So I think you can listen to Q1, which is, which could be this input here just by itself or Q2, which would be here just by itself, or if you hit both, then you have the entire mix that you can hear. You can have it in mono, and when you light it, when you hit it, it lights up so you know that mono's on. Then you have dim, which pretty much lowers, lowers the output, and then mute, which mutes it, you can't hear it. And then this button here is the AB speaker A, then speaker B. Oh yeah, and this button up here, I think that controls the software. If you hit this and your software is installed, then that'll turn the software on. Next down here, this is this area is where the headphone headphone um, area is. So you can have your headphones in mono to play back uh, the Q, Q1, Q2, or the, the entire mix right there. And this adjudge, adjusts your monitor output going into your, or sorry, your headphone in, output going to your headphones. And this is the talk back button. So you hit that, and I think you can talk to whoever's, like the engineer who's manning this can talk to the uh, whoever's recording, and you don't have to take your headphones off and all that. You can just hear each other through the headphones which is a real good time saver. And it's just duplicated here for this is the second 
for the second headphone output. And I think the last thing is up here. This is when you're recording. Um, you have the, the direct. So this is what you hear going into the unit. And this is the computer, which is what's coming out. So that's the just the mix coming from the computer. When you're recording, like overdubs and everything, you want to hear, hear both what you're recording in and also the background track. So you kind of, I think, want to leave it kind of there. And it's kind of, it clicks into that place right there. So we're going to test this out. I'm going to hook it into my, uh, my computer, which it already is, but I'm going to plug my uh, microphone into it. I'll play my sax and we'll see how it sounds. Here we go. <laughs> 